I did a sculpture degree and I still kind of feel like a sculptor although I've been painting for like 15 years. And Hepworth was always quite an important person to me. Um, I looked at her work in, in the respect of a drawing, of a line, of a shape, of a map, um, especially a piece like Sea View. I think of it as a, a, a line or a, an outlining of a landscape. I started looking at sculpture that is supposedly looking like stone which is made from bronze or clay um, as an object to try and turn it back into the flat, into an image, into a line. Um, so I've taken something that's supposed to be representing a head of a figure and, and trying to bring it to, back towards the paintings that you saw in the studio earlier. So in um, there's four rooms, the show consists of four rooms and the two larger rooms are going to have the new um, large scale works in it and the last room um, is going to have this piece which is, is f five metres by four and a half metres. So after, as you navigate your way through the, the show I see this is the last room where there's three large paintings, three figures looking at you. And that's how, um, that's how I feel like you would navigate the show. I hope that the historical room is, is going to give a way into my work from, from a different angle um, and to ground it, I suppose, in a history, because that is quite important to the practice. I suppose when your work, it's, it's so closely linked to your emotions and, and your state of mind and where you are, it's hard for that not to come out through the work. And for me, I suppose that's through form and through colour. It, it, it's quite difficult for that not to happen.